So Brian, I think what was really distinctive is we maybe ought to get away from even using the term manager because at the end of the day, their job's really to be a coach. Talk a little bit about that. You're absolutely right. And with the term manager, there's a lot of baggage that comes with that term. Yeah, no kidding. Right? We sort of have this preconceived notion in our mind of how a manager is supposed to behave, what they're supposed to do, right? So what we've discovered is that these world-class leaders have really sort of put this notion of modern day management in a box yeah. and blown it up. Because when you redefine the role, when you change that belief and you understand that fundamentally on the people side, there's two different aspects to, to management, the process side and the people side. On the people side of management, when you change that approach and realize that your job is to coach and develop your people, and once you get that in your head and into your heart, it changes your behaviors naturally. Good. And this coaching isn't something that you do once a year at the annual performance review or once a quarter. You're really advocating once a week. It is this effective, focused coaching conversation that you have every week. And if you're not doing that, you're not doing the most important thing you should be doing. It is the absolute most important thing. And again, the fundamental distinction that we saw with these world-class leaders mm -hmm. is from a cadence perspective, it was on a weekly basis. And the reason that's so important is for one word, accountability. Mm -hmm. Right? So it deals with the focus, getting them focused on the right priorities, holding them accountable, and then giving them that positive reinforcement and constructive coaching in order to make sure they're pr improving on a daily and weekly basis. And making sure that you take those longer term goals, which we're all good at setting, and breaking it down to, hey, this is the part you've got to be work focused on this week. You have an acronym for what really ought to be discussed in that weekly conversation. Sure, well, it has to do with FAR, right? FAR, so it's okay. F is for focus, right? How do we shift the focus of our people from the results mm -hmm. to the process that produces those results? Yes. The A is accountability. How do we make sure our people are focused on doing the things they need to do in order to make the organization and themselves successful? And then the third one is reinforcement. Positively reinforce those desired behaviors that they're doing, give them constructive coaching and developmental feedback on the areas where they might need some help. And the connection then between this and productivity? Profound. Yes. It is the single most important thing that an organization can do to improve the level of pro productivity. The foundation of transforming organizational productivity yeah. is improving individual performance. Yeah. And it's through coaching. And it's absolutely through coaching. So coaches, not managers. That's the message. You bet. Brian, thank you. Wonderful.